Jennings. He has a receiver oh. looking for Kitchen. The ball hangs up. Kitchen makes the catch. Stays on his feet. Touchdown. Waits for it. Catches it at the 40-yard line and brought down. Wide open receiver. Singleton. He brings it in. He'll take it the distance. Crosses the 20. He'll walk into the end zone. Eagles strike first. They're on top six nothing. Welcome to Friday Night Under the Lights. Tonight's game is sponsored by A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance, here to restore the quality of life you deserve on Brasher Avenue in Morgan City. Conrad Industries, serving St. Mary Parish and the Marine Industry since 1948. Conrad wishes all of our local teams good luck. Lapco Manufacturing. Feel safe, work smart, look good with Lapco FR. www.lapco.com. Patterson State Bank. Free checking, great rates, low down payment home loan options, and the best in mobile banking. PSB, quality community banking since 1925. GJCurbside.com, your complete online grocery store, including local and regional products. Check our website for delivery options. From our curb to yours, GJ Curbside. Henry Beau Lagrange, the next senator for District 21. Unmatched experience and proven leadership to represent all of District 21. Stazione. Get our Stazione app or order one of our mouthwatering po' boys online at staziondeli.com. Stazione. Are you hungry yet? Bayou Bend Fitness Center, 1097 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin. A healthier you begins at Bayou Bend. Pooldu Sports Bar, Morgan City's number one party spot and your steak night hookup every Wednesday. Danny's Fried Chicken, it'll make you smile. Serving Morgan City since 1968. MC Bank, sharing the hometown spirit since 1955. Pelican Companies of America, your one-stop spot for all your rental needs. 985-312-5509. Oshner Health of St. Mary, quality health care close to home. Extreme Daiquiris, where the drive through is always open and the drinks are always cold. Universe Street in Bayou Vista. Taco Bell in Morgan City in Bayou Vista. Open late night, delivery through DoorDash. And Allen's Communications, locally owned TV cable, internet, and telephone service. Call 384-8335. Hello everyone and welcome to KWBJ Game of the Week. My name is Aaron Ortico. I'm here with Clarence Robinson and next to me is our statistician Bill McCarty. And we're on the campus of South Terrebonne High School Gators. We're on the South Terrebonne Memorial Stadium field and we're ready for some big time high school football, Clarence. Tell you what, looking forward to it tonight. You know, Market City Tigers had taken a big loss last week, 35-14 to South Lafourche and uh, same thing for South Terrebonne. These guys are trying to make some things happen. Homecoming tonight here in South Terrebonne. Yep. This is, this is a big district uh, 7-4-A contest. And uh, the teams are taking the field. The Morgan City Tigers will receive the opening kickoff. Third quarter sponsor. Councilman Steve Trostler, District 9, our first down sponsor. Teeing it up on the 40. Kickoff for the Gators, number 23, number 23. Michael Gutierrez. That is Michael Gutierrez. They were a good homecoming crowd out here at uh, South Terrebonne. Yeah, parking lot was packed. Seemed like we all must had a workout to do to get to the stadium ourselves. Right? Oh, yeah. Number five, Tyron Duda. This, oh, he touched it at the 20. Doesn't matter, it's a live ball anyway. Unable to field it, but recovered by the Tigers. Let's see where they're going to spot this. They'll spot it at the 18-yard line 
where Morgan City was set up shop with first and 10. Tell you what, Torres in the right place at the right time, they'll be able to get that recovery. You know, when we've seen the Tigers earlier this year, seen them move the ball a lot with that offense. Um, hadn't had a problem with scoring opportunities, but tonight, you know, different status. See if the Tigers can make some things happen here. Well, I think they're going to start inside their own 20. Defensive starter for the Gators, number 34, Lincoln Dupre, number 61, Jackson LaFleur, number 94, Tavian Stewart, 16, Drake Zach Zach Clark, number 30, Brody that, uh, Hutchinson. Number 50, Jaheen I'm looking Higgs. through these glasses and I'm Four, seeing it backwards. Neville, number five, okay, Hughes. going to the left side, or right uh, side Smith, rather, for 17, maybe a yard. Kojo, they able to Warren take the direct Walker. hand off yeah, of Mancuso. That was Antonio Kojo. Look for Kojo to make it happen there. Yep. Tigers gained one yard. Number 20. So they kicked up one. It'll bring up Antonio, a second and nine from the 19-yard line. Stopped by number 50 for the Gators. Diggs, and number 94, Stewart. Second and 19. Tigers in tight, everybody. Pitch goes to the running back. Uh, he drops it. Oh, could that, that could have been a play. wide receiver that came around. I couldn't tell. Number one, number one, that's uh, Anthony Tigers. Bourgeois. Bourgeois coming to the sharp motion to the near side and just didn't get the actual pitch to him. Yep. Lost a couple yards. It'll bring up a third down and 11 from the 17 third yard line. For the Tigers, 10, so we may the see the Tigers quarter. go to the air on third and long. Thank you, sir. Does have the Number arms. Nine, see if these receivers can get open. Thank you, sir. In the shotgun. Three receivers wide to the Stop left. He's looking that direction under pressure, under pressure mm. and he's going to get and dropped at the 10 yard line. The and that'll bring up a fourth down. It'll that's be fourth and uh, about 18 yards, I guess. Jaquim Diggs, right from that defensive line spot, able to get in and get six yards. sack on Macuso. It'll be 17, fourth and now 17. Fourth and 17. The Tigers drop the back into punt formation. Out. And the Gators like and the receiver standing at his own at the Tiger 48-yard line. It's going to be a short punt and take a Gator bounce. It's touched at the 28-yard line, but rolls back to the 25. And they're going to spot it at the 25, 28 rather. The Tiger 28-yard line. You know that pretty much happened on that first possession by the Tigers. See if that defense can come up and hold them up. Got a short field to work with for that yep. for South Terrebonne. If Gators in great situation here with their, their first possession. They'll take Post over Ramonda, at the Tiger 28-yard line. Free. They'll be playing and first and 10. Any products Breeze Blanchard is the quarterback for the Gators. He hands it off to the and running back, has a big hole on the right side, and it's a foot race to the end zone, and he's going to score. That's Brody Dupree in for the touchdown. One play, one touchdown, and the Gators take the early lead. I mean, nothing fancy with that direct handoff to Brody. And able to walk it in for a quick six for the South Terrebonne Gators. Good job by the Gator offensive line as there's a huge hole on the right side, and and uh, Brody Dupree just ran right through it. And it was a race to the, to the corner of the end zone. And he won. Dupree won. They're going to try to kick the extra point. It's up. And it's good. So here early, nine minutes, 46 seconds to play in the first quarter. The Gators take an easy one play, one drive, one Play drive touchdown. Okay, things for the Tigers now is to just regroup, right, Clarence? Yeah, it's no okay. doubt about it. I mean, it's, it's an early start. Let's yeah. just start this game over mentally from our standpoint. Yeah, just settle down. You know exactly the Tigers' offense definitely can move the football, but once again, you get one play on the defensive side right there. Pretty much, Dupree goes in untouched for the touchdown. So good start for the South Terrebonne Gators. They've got to be happy with this. Uh, on the, they take the field defensively first and uh, get a three and out.
come back with the quick score. You know, one thing it is for the Tigers, you got a lot of young guys still uh, trying to make some things happen, but now you're on the backside of the, the actual district. Area. So you can see these guys kind of make the adjustments, get things rolling here on the second possession for the Tigers. Kick is deep. And it's going to be caught at around the three yard line. Looking for some room. Can't find any as he takes it across the 10. To the 13. Pretty much same starting position once again for the Morgan City offense on the second possession here. It was recovered by number 21, Bryson Booty. Stopped by number 28. Okay. That was set up the Tigers at their own 12 yard line. And credit goes to number 30, Rowley Hutchinson. They'll play first and 10. And 10 for the Tigers at their own ben 12 Cusick yard line. brings his troops out. Less than the first quarter. We'll see if that offensive line can make some, some initial contact and open up that running game. Wide receiver split wide on both sides. Quick nine, pitch to the left side. Trying to turn the corner is Kojo. Kojo. Can't find a lot of room out there. He might have picked up Stop one, maybe two. Martin, and number four, Neville. No gain. See where they're going to mark him at the line of scrimmage for no gain. It's basic toss sweep to the far side over there. South Terrebonne just able to s s extend it to the outside. The Tigers really want to make some things happen here early in the first quarter so they won't get too far behind in this game. Clicking right now for the Morgan City offense. That brings up third down, third and ten from the twelve. In this, uh, this, this, I know it's very early. You got eight twenty-two to play in the first quarter, but uh, class got to feel like this is pretty important play right here. You, you'd hate to give it right back to him again. Hands off to Kojo on the right wow. side, and he doesn't make it back to the 10-yard line. He's going to lose at least two, maybe three. And fourth down, yep, they're going to spot him at the nine. Fourth and 14. Tigers really need to get this punt off here. It's this is blocked and recovered in the end zone by the Gators. It's going to be a Gator touchdown. So Gators now have a 13-0 lead with the extra point team coming out. So. You know, Aaron, that's, that's what's so critical. You've seen it happen initially. The first punt they did, Ballard went about 14 yards. Here it is, South Terrebonne able to get the blitz on. Excuse me, not the blitz on, just get good rush on the punt. Yeah. Able to come up with the block. And they easily got to it, blocked it, kept it, didn't. A lot of times that happens, it'll roll out the back of the end zone. This time did not. And the Gators jump on top of it for a touchdown. They're going to try the extra point. High snap. Gets it down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. So here very early, just eight minutes, 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the Gators jump out to a 14-0 lead, but they have – one of their own down on the field around the five yard line. Trainers come out to check on him. Looks like that's uh, big number 77. One like of their able to get offensive up. linemen. That's uh, Brooks Onestell. So one of the seniors are able to get up, it's able to walk off there. Right. So that's, yes. that's so good for that good senior. Thing. Yeah. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by. A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet, core physical therapy and sports performance, Lapco Manufacturing, Patterson State Bank, GJCurbside.com, Henry Beau Lagrange, Stazione, MC Bank, Pelican Companies of America, Taco Bell, 
and Allen's Communications. The Tigers' first two drives of the night have yielded minus 10 yards, so rough start for Morgan City. Yeah. Of course, uh, South Terrebonne's got to be feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Yeah, the only, offense had only one pos one possession, and they scored on the first play. So. Yeah, only ran one play. They yes, have sir. 30 yards and, and 14 points. This is a little pooch kick and recovered at the 36-yard line. So this will give the Tigers their best starting field position of the night. Torres, Torres was able to get on that uh, short kick right there. So once again, we know the Morgan City offense can move the ball. See if they can just get it, swing it to the outside. A couple of times each time they've tried to get it to Kojo. But just like you just stated that the pack, uh, Tigers have 14, negative 14 yards on the offense. So. And Cusis gets his team to the line. One receiver split wide left. Handoff goes coming to the right side. With the ball is Anthony Bourgeois. And he takes this across the 35-yard line. Tigers initially just trying to set up the actual pass with the run. So are they sticking with the game plan as relationship to what they're seeing on the film? So. Okay, Bourgeois picked up one and bring up second and nine. Tigers split receivers wide on both sides, two to each side. Looking to throw his Mancusa, throws it up. And a little bit long as it comes down out of bounds. Intended receiver was Matthew Nugier. Nugier? Am I? Help me out with that one, Clarence. Nugier? Nugier? You got it. That brings up a third down. The incomplete pass, third and nine. You know, as aggressive as, as South Terrebonne defense is, they, if they can set up the pass, draw the screen, could really get this uh, South Terrebonne defense napping. Mancusa looking to pass, gets it off, goes through the hands of the intended receiver. And I think that was uh, number five, Duga. Kyron Dugas. Ball went to the right place. All Dugas need to get what that was, that reception. He had a lot of yards to able to get that first down, but incomplete pass. Okay, that'll force the punt team to come out with fourth and nine from the, their own 36-yard line. To receive the punt, drops deep inside his own 30. Punt is off. Pretty good punt. Hits the ground. Takes a South Terrebonne roll. Tigers pick it up around the Gator 45-yard line. 19 yards. 19-yard punt for the Tigers. So Terrebonne will take over only their second possession. This one will start on their side of the field, but barely at their own 45-yard line. They'll play first and 10. They put up 14 points so far, Clarence, but they only run one offensive Just play. Just one offensive play. So that Tiger defense now got to do some things and make it happen. Try to get three plays and now get the ball back to, the, to that offense. Wildcat. Wildcat formation. Mm. Kind of bobbled the, the snap, but uh, recovered it and takes it out to the 45. And I think that's uh, Peyton Shouts. You just said it was just in a wildcat. You said it was student body here to the to the near side. Mm -hmm. Only able to pick up five yards. So see if this Tiger defense can hold up a little bit more. Five-yard gain yields a second and two. Oh, let's see. We got flags and some people moving and some people not moving. And, and uh, that'll be a false start against the Gators. That'll back them up five, make it a second and ten. Good opportunity here for the Tigers once again. You got the, the Morgan City defense, Aaron. Everybody was within five yards. So mm -hmm. if you can watch it, you see if, if, if Coach see it, 
the tight end can sneak out and have a quick play right up the field on off on that defense. So and they got everybody within five yards of the line of scrimmage. One receiver split to each side. Yeah, Looking for somewhere to go is Schaust. Not much room on the right side. They'll spot him with a one-yard gain. That'll bring up third down and nine. Opportunity here for the Tigers to try to get that ball back. One receiver split wide right. Single back. Everybody else in tight. Blanchard gets his signal from the bench. Calls the play. Man in motion. High snap. Goes over his head. He picks it up. Retrieves inside the 30-yard line. Back to around the 26-yard line. He's going to be sacked back there for a big loss of about almost 20 yards. Tell you what, this may be the possession where it could change things for the Morgan City Absolutely. Tigers. So That'll bring up fourth down and 29. In punt formation, good snap. Punt goes off. It's going to go over the Tigers' wow. head and gets a Gator bounce and roll. This is going to go Good back goodness. inside the 15-yard line, close to the 11 oh, is where goodness. they're going to kill it. And it's a 52-yard punt. 62, excuse me, that was a 62-yard punt. You know, it, it, it just, Aaron, you thought that the Tigers was going to have that opportunity to get that right. situation. It's just like a force field going back to the 20, 15, I know. 20 yard lines against Morgan City on each possession thus far. Yeah. Uh, set back there to receive the punt, the Tiger, this, this punt just flew <laughs> way over his head. I don't know if he uh, – wasn't anticipating such a good punt, or maybe he doesn't normally punt that well, but he, he got all of that one. And a big roll to boot. Mancuso looking to throw. Has a man open on the far side, but uh, misses the pass. It's incomplete and second and ten. Now you see that offensive line giving Mancuso the opportunity to throw the ball. Got to make those connections right, right. now. Yeah, because he had a guy open out there. Yes. And uh, – Unable to get the ball to him. That'll bring up a second down. Second and ten. Ball spotted at the Tiger 11-yard line. Tiger's in a, a receiver wide to the left. Quick pitch. And this is Kojo with the ball, turns the corner, but I don't know if he uh, made it back to the line of scrimmage or not. Yeah. Once again, pursued by that South Terrebonne defense, getting yeah. out there once again on Kojo. I want to say the uh, Gator defense has really done their job so far here tonight. I mean, what they're doing, Aaron, they're stacking everybody, just similar to Morgan City doing on the defense, stacking – Everybody on the defense within five yards. Right. So they're just daring you. You're not going to throw. The, you're not going to run the ball on us. We want to force you to throw the ball. Okay. Third and ten. Looking to throw. Going deep. As a receiver out there, it, it ball comes down out of bounds and incomplete. So that'll force another fourth down. Yep. Dugas did able to run a stream out right up the sideline. Not able to come up with the reception. Once again, four down again on the Tigers. Once again, Aaron, see if they can get this punt off. Yeah, this is uh, an event. Like I said they, they had one blocked. Ended up getting a touchdown out of it. Recovered it in the end zone. Tigers got a man short, so able to get punters, in. Punter standing about two yards in the end zone. Gets a good snap, gets the punt, and it's blocked again, and it's recovered again in the end zone. So the Gators will score again. Once again, two special team punts blocked. 14, excuse me. Yeah. Will be 14 points if they get this extra point. Yeah. 
That's two, twice it was blocked in the end zone and recovered in the end zone. One thing it is, you know, Aaron, you, you've seen them. they within that five-yard range. They're going to send everybody. With, with the big loss in the last possession, wiped out most of their 30 yards that they picked up on their first play. So they went netting out about nine or ten yards right now. And they got 20 points, about to make it, taking a shot at making it 21 points off about nine yards of offense. That's it. Yeah, 14 yards. 14 yards total offense, okay. 14 yards offense for the Gators. And it's negative for the Tigers. The kick is up and good. So Gators with a 21-point lead with four minutes to play in the first quarter off of 14 yards of offense. Once again, offense, defense, special teams. And right now the special teams has been the Achilles heel for the Tigers. They got to get that thing together very quickly because this thing is only in the first quarter. Aaron. Right. It, yeah, it's early course but the the Gators have really dominated the line of scrimmage correct I mean early in the game we're only eight minutes into the football game but but like I said when you got two blocked punts in, in, and negative yardage right you're not doing well along the line of scrimmage you know and the thing about it is every aspect of the game that people talk about you know they talk about the offense and defense but the initially if those blocks the punch keep getting blocked like that some adjustments need to be made on that front that right. frontier Out to kick off is Michael Gutierrez. He's a junior, five foot eleven, one hundred and fifty. Number twenty-three, Michael Gutierrez. Okay, got uh, a late add to the kickoff, kickoff team. Comes out on the field. Okay, Bourgeois and Duga are deep to receive the kickoff. Gutierrez will tee it up on the 40. Kick is high, kick is deep. It's going to go over Bourgeois' head and into the end zone. So the Tigers will start at their own 20-yard line. You know, one thing it is, we do know Morgan City can't move the football, Aaron. So the probability is, is trying to, once again, they keep going back to try to establish the run. Mm -hmm. But with the aggressiveness of South Terrebonne defense, just trying to swing it outside and yeah. see if those guys can get to the skill positions out there and make it happen. So Try to get it to the speed guys and out in the open field yes, sir. and hope that they can make something happen. But whatever it is, it's going to have to be delivered quickly. It, it has to be done quickly because of the over-aggressive defense that South Terrebonne is exactly. coming with. Okay, first and ten for the Morgan City Tigers at their own 20. Looking for some room on the right side and finds none. That's number five. Morgan City put the Dugas Wildcat. at, at the That's Wildcat a, position yeah. with a direct hand, uh, excuse me, direct yeah. snap. Yeah, that was Taduga who gained a yard. That'll bring up second and nine from the 21. Man goes in motion. Hand off to Kojo looking for something on the left side. Gets out close to the 24. Then, oh, he gets away. He gets away. <laughs> and he takes it out. Looked like the play was over. Evidently, there were no whistles, so Kojo gets away, and he uh, picks up the Tigers' first first down of the ball game. Good job by Kojo. Once again, he's just keeping his feet moving. No whistles were blown. Tigers able to pick up that big first down. 17. That was a 17-yard gain for Kojo. First and 10 for the Tigers at their own 38-yard line. See, this if this give a little the Tigers a little confidence right here. Second man through gets the ball. That's Bourgeois looking for something on the right side. Nothing there.
tried to cut back, but then it was even worse. The pursuit got him then. Not wise right there, Aaron. The pursuit for the backside was coming so heavy for South Terrebonne. When you take that handoff, either run to the sideline or try to cut it up. But he was right. trying to cut it all the way back against the grain. Right. Got five guys coming at you. When, uh, when you're getting beat on the line of scrimmage, it's, it's usually not a good idea no, to cut back. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, you got the, the defensive tackle slanting, and you got the linebacker's backside. So Lost three or two, second down with the catch, across the 35, spun around to maybe the 37, possibly the 38. Nuger. Yep, that's Nuger with the catch. Stop by number six. And, and but he spotted him at the 37-yard line. So picked up one or two yards. It'll bring up third down and 11. Now third and 11. From the Tigers' 37-yard line. Minute, 20 seconds to play, first quarter. Mancuso. Mancuso is going to keep it, pulls it down, goes it across the 40-yard line. And he'll be stopped around the 41. Or it might spot him at the 42. Yep, at the 41-yard line. They're going to spot it. And bring up fourth down and seven. Just with that situation, Aaron, everybody's covered downfield. Mm -hmm. Mancuso did the right thing, trying to keep him himself, not able to come capitalize and get a first down. But a little bit. They picked up a first down this time, picked up some positive yardage. They'll send the punt team out. And hopefully they figured out a way to give – oh, he bobbles the ball, picks it up. Now he's going to run with it. Not a lot of room to run. And he's going to lose four or five yards. I mean, the special teams are just making the difference right now in this game. Gomez, the snap was low once again. Did the right thing in trying to get outside. Then once again, South Terrebonne right there to make the stop. Gators will take over first and 10 at the Tiger 38-yard line. 28 seconds to go. 28 seconds to play first quarter. Hand off, straight up left tackle, takes it to the 36-yard line. Brody Dupree taking that hand off. Seeing Brody, that first possession for South Terrebonne, able to take the hand off and run it for the first touchdown. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. As the Gators lead the Tigers 21-0, and we'll take this quick commercial break. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Doman Chevrolet, Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance, Lapco Manufacturing, Patterson State Bank, GJCurbside.com, Henry Beau Lagrange, Stazione, MC Bank, Pelican Companies of America, Taco Bell, and Allen's Communications. Okay, welcome back to South Terrebonne High School. This is the South Terrebonne Memorial Stadium. Beautiful stadium here, all turf field. Clarence, this is uh, the end results of Hurricane Ida from a couple of years ago. Uh, but they have a beautiful stadium out here. Like I said, the turf field. This, gate, this field is used by uh, South Terrebonne and Ellender because you noticed in the uh, on the our you know on your TV screen the the end zone on the left it says Patriots because this field is shared by the Ellender Patriots. First down. Got a sweep to the right. Looking to turn the corner. He's grabbed. Didn't pull him down from behind, but it looked like he had he had a horse collar there. Yeah. He just didn't pull him down from the back. So. Braden Bro, number eight, taking the direct handoff, coming to the near side. Once again, Tigers defenders were able to come up. Looked like about a five-yard pickup for the tight uh, the Gators. Excuse me. Three, 
Third down and five from the Tiger 33-yard line. Gators trying to draw him off. Breeze Blanchett, yep, looked down there, made a call, then turned to the bench. Relayed the message to his team. Handoff goes around the right side. Enough for the first down. He'll take it to the 22-yard line. And I think we're going to have a holding call. Clarence back uh, around the 28, 29-yard line, 28-yard line. Rick's number 22, taking a handoff. Yep. He walked off against the Gators. Yep, this will go against the Gator. It's a holding call. And they'll march that off. Take it back and put it down at the 43-yard line. Ten yards. Ten-yard penalty brings up third and 15. The situation where the Tigers really need to try to make something happen here. Trying to force them, the Gators, into a throwing situation. See if the athletes can match up on the outside. Okay, timeout. Let's see who called it. The Gators call a timeout. They had a lot of communication going back and forth down there, you know, so. We uh, have time out on the field, so let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back to South Terrebonne Memorial Stadium. South Terrebonne will be playing a third and 15 from the Tigers' 38-yard line. They are enjoying a 21-0 lead right now. High snap, pulls it down, has a man open, makes the catch, takes off to the far side, turns the corner, has his first down, and he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. For a big first down on third and 15. Once again, third and long situation. There was pass draw screen. South Terrebonne called it. Got the screen situation to hook up with Brody. Pick up a big first down. Yeah. Looked like they had some opportunities to make a tackle <laughs> early, but uh, once he got going, he takes it down to the 12 yard line where the Gators will play first and 10. Blanchard gets his signal from the sideline, relays it to his team. Hands it off to the end coming around, but uh, not there, nothing there. Tiger defense makes a tackle in the backfield. Good job by the Tigers, number seven, Wilkerson, able to come from that defense, that linebacker spot, and make a short tackle right there. It'll be about a five yard loss. Seven, Mike bring up second down and 15. The ball is spotted at the 17 yard line. One receiver split wide right, everyone else in tight. Man goes in motion, hands it off the middle. Up the middle, a little bit there, picked up maybe three yards, possibly just only two. Brody Dupree once again. Dupree picks up two yards. It'll bring up third down and 12. Dupree and Ricks, two mainstay backs for the, for the Gators. A lot of people moving around. Play clock down to 10. Still waiting for the signal. Gets it. I think that five seconds on the play clock. Out now. And zero on the play clock. So they call time in time. 
they did get the timeout in time. So, with timeout on the field, we'll match him with a timeout of our own. Welcome back to South Terrebonne High School, where South Terrebonne Gators are playing host to their 7-4-A uh, district teammates, the Morgan City Tigers. Tigers trail 21-0. Gators with the ball, third down and 13. Looking to pass, Blanchard makes the catch, has a man inside the five-yard line. Fights his way close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be about a yard short. You know, Rick's just come out the backfield, short. Aaron. Yeah. Nobody's covering him out the backfield. The pursuit went the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Rick's was trying to get that extra yardage right there. So, yep, It'll be an 11 yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down and two, and the Gators are going to go for it. Ball is at the four yard line. High snap, pulls it back down from the Wildcat. Wildcat as Dupree takes it to the left side and goes in for the touchdown. So Gators go up 27 to nothing with nine minutes and 13 seconds to play in the first half. You know, Dupree just did the direct snap right there to him. Been, been a workhorse for the, for the Gators, able to capitalize once again. That was an eight-play drive, 38 yards total. And that'll put the Gators out in front, 28 nothing, with the extra point. Low snap, kick is up, and it's good. So good job by the holder to get the snap down because it's a little bit low. But uh, he managed to hang on to it, got it down, 28 nothing. Gators lead. Well, Clarence, Tigers got to figure out something here to get yeah. something going. They, they really do. Each aspect of the game, offense, defense, and special team has been a factor. Right. Healy's key for the, for the Tigers thus far. So got to make some adjustments. We know that they can make some things happen. But once again, this thing get too deep. You're 28 points down now. So Yeah, I mean, you've only played – 15 minutes of game time, but the, the Tiger defense has spent practically all that time. Well, not as much as you might think because, like I said, you got two block punts. Exactly. Yeah, two block punts for 14. Got half the points scored on two block punts. One was a one, and the other one of the other two was a, a 30 yard play, and the other one was a 38 yard drive, five play. 22 punts were inside the 10 yard line, so that that's very short within itself. And then initially, the last uh, punting situation, Gomez was not able to come up with the punt. Right. So that was exactly. another opportunity they scored off punts. So that's three punts that happened, Aaron, mm -hmm. 21 points. That, yep, directly to. And looking for somewhere mm -hmm. on the left side, nothing there. Good pursuit by the Gators. And Bourgeois takes it across the 20-yard line, but not much more than that. Good pursuit by the excuse me, the Gators to get downfield, bring up a first down and ten for the Tigers. If Guderessa got a, comes with a pretty good leg, <laughs> he's he's easily made all the extra points and uh, his kickoffs have been deep. They're gonna spot this ball at the 19 yard line. I guess they're assuming he went back across the 20 on his own accord. Quick pitch coming to the left side is Kojo trying to get to the 20. And he's going to be just just short of it for, we'll call it a one-yard gain. Devil, Neville number four just able to extend that play out. 
and a lot of the inside linebackers to come up and make the tackle on Kojo. Well, at least he's trying to get it outside and get it outside to the speed guys, Kojo. Kojo has uh, six carries for 16 yards here with uh, 8.20 to play in the second quarter. This is Kojo again up the middle, nothing there. He probably got to the line of scrimmage, but nothing more. And it'll be third down. Actually, they're going to spot the ball just across the 20 yard. Nope, they're going to move it back to the 20. One of the offensive linemen for Morgan City has to come out. The game looked like equipment issue, so. Yeah, the clock is stopped with 8.07 to play in the second quarter. Carmichael. Yeah, yep, that's uh, Ian Carmichael. Basically, we're looking at his knee brace, Aaron, so they need to make sure they check that out. Timeout. And we're going to have a timeout time call. Morgan City. Morgan City will take a timeout. Third down. This is when they need to uh, need to get something here. Try to pick up that first down. Keep it going. Once again, look like each each opportunity to pass in the end of running game, Aaron has been, you know, null and void for the Tigers. Uh, basically, with their game plan came in, it's been null and void because South Terrebonne is actually doing an outstanding job in the secondary and also at that defensive line spot. Yeah. And they've been all over the ball. I've been impressed with their pursuit, yeah. you know, Clarence. They, I mean, these guys, they, it's not one guy out there making the tackle. There's a, a host of green jerseys surrounding the Tiger ball carriers, and they've had literally nowhere to go. I mean, just stifled. You know, you just had spoke about the, uh, the, the yardage that Kojo has, and that's been a whole – on an extra effort for him to get those yards that he does have right now. Yep. Okay, Tigers have their play. Coming to the line of scrimmage. Going to send three receivers wide to the right, one to the left. Kojo's in the backfield with Mancusa looking to throw. And it gets to pass off, but it's a little bit low and in front of the intended receiver, Anthony Bourgeois. Incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down. You had four men in the backfield right there. Big, strong runs. McCuso, luckily, he wasn't able to get sacked, but able to get it off. So, it still, like you stated, bring it up fourth down. Okay, Tigers send the punt team out. But they just trotting out there with 13 seconds left on the play clock. So, they need to hustle. Got to get a little sense of urgency here. Three seconds on the play clock. Still have and substitution. Snap. It's flag on the play. Yeah. As a flag, as soon as the ball was snapped, the ball is fielded at the 50-yard line, coming to the near side, turns the corner, got another flag that comes out as he steps out of bounds. Somewhere about the 33-yard 30, line. So. Two flags. One happened as soon as the ball was snapped. The others, the other came late, like it would be a either a block in the back or a holding call. Correct. Initially on the Morgan City side, one of the players didn't get off at the snap. Yeah. Illegal motion. It'll probably be off. This could be offsetting. It should be offsetting because you yeah. did see a, a guy get blocked in the back for Morgan City as well. So. Once again, special teams making a difference. A lot of discussion with the referees. Illegal procedure against the Tigers. And then, I don't know. Oh, it was a block in the back. Block in the back against the Gators. So they will offset. And we would do it again. You know, Gomez does have a good leg. He, he's the extra point kicking kickoff guy. So, got to get the snap. Got to get, get this kick off. He'll uh, stand back at the five yard line. 
15 yards off the line of scrimmage. Low snap, makes the catch, gets the punt off. High with a good bounce. It'll roll, take a Morgan City roll inside the 50 to the 47 yard line. 33 yard punt. And the Gators will take over first and 10 at their own 47 yard line. Let's see if this Morgan City defense can make something happen in there. And just to get that ball back in their hands for that offense. Not a situation like this. Defense need to get asked for a turnover. That would help a lot. Yeah. Especially on this side of the field. Five receivers to both sides. Single back. Tigers got 12 men on the field. And 12 men on the field. Yep. That'll give them a free five. They'll play first and five. That'll take the ball into uh, Tiger territory. Ball will be spotted at the Tiger 48. First down. First and five. High snap. Hands it off. Oh, hitting the backfield. Good defense. That was a nice play there by Michael Wilkinson for the Tigers. Wilkinson coming from that defensive end spot. One thing you say about Wilkinson, young man, only a sophomore, Aaron. Yeah. Yep, four yard loss. Be second down and nine. Oh, got some motion in the backfield, but they didn't know flag. Now the flag comes out. It did stop the play as well. And he blew the whistle. Get, uh, Wilkerson just did the initial yeah. on that last play was the man to jump again. He stepped off against the Tigers. Second and 14. Okay, another five-yard loss. That will bring up second down and 14. Yep, that'll spot the ball at the 44-yard line. Look more like a four-yard penalty, I think. All right, snap, pulls it down, hands it off, turns the corner, plenty of room. Out there is uh, Brody Dupree, and a nice run for it picks up the first down. Garen Hayes, number 83 at that cornerback spot, got caught too much inside. Aaron should have been a little bit outside. That ball will be spotted at the Tiger 39-yard line where the Gators will play first down and 10. 18-yard gain. Got five carries for 54. And Dupree has five carries so far tonight. He's picked up 54 yards. He's having fun tonight, Clarence. Yes, sir. Play action. Oh, this bounced Look off a this, tiger's Aaron. chest. It looked like it popped up in the air, and it was not caught. <laughs> you thought it would have bounced in one of the Terrebonne guys. Yeah. But just a hard throw right there by the quarterback, Blanchard, on a hard slant route right there. One of the Tigers had a chance to make that pick right there. No doubt. I think it got to him a lot quicker than he was yeah, expecting. He might not have seen it coming. Because uh, it looked like it bounced off his chest, popped it up in the air towards where everybody right. was. You know, where both lines were there. And uh looks like almost <laughs> – out of 22 guys, probably had eight of them, 18 in that little group, but nobody could snatch it. Coming from the left side to the right side, fighting his way forward. Picks up about maybe three. It's Ricks again, number 22. Third and eight. That'll bring up a third down. Third down and eight. 
Rickson Dupree. Like you stated earlier about the stats for Dupree, just having an outstanding job. See if they can stop him, set him up, something. Tigers getting late substitution here, Aaron. And he better hurry. Got to get off the field. And he made it, barely. But he made it. Screen again. Turn around. There's a good pass with blockers in front of him. Has the first down. Takes it to the 26-yard line. And that's Dupree. Picked up the first down on third and eight. It was happening, Aaron. They were just running all the receivers off. Mm -hmm. Playing a man to man on the outside. The linebackers are covering certain areas, and they're just drawing, setting the screen up. Once again, big play for the, for the Gators. First and 10 from the 26. Gators getting the play from the sideline is signaled in. Blanchett spreads it to the team. Handoff looking to, on the end around to the right side. It looked like they had him tied up in the backfield, but he gets away and picks up two or three yards. Looks like he picked up about three maybe. Nope, they're spotting it at a two-yard game. Marcel number one. Tigers was able to make some penetration in the backfield. Gators send single receivers wide to each side. Schaus in the backfield along with Blanchett. The snap goes to Schaus, and he's looking for something on the right side, but nothing out there. He's going to lose about three or four. Got a Tiger down right in the middle of the field between the 20 and 25. Why they check on him? Did good job by the Tigers, able to defend right there. I think that's uh, Dylan Lee. One of the Tigers seniors right there. Third and nine. Lost one. 20. Yeah, but. Bring up third down and maybe 12, it looks like. So it would be about a four-yard loss. It'll bring up third and 12. The ball is spotted at the 28-yard line. And uh, like I said, we have a Tiger down. So with a Tiger down on the field, we'll go ahead and take a quick commercial break. Well, Lee will make it off the field on his own power, but uh, he's he's doing it with a big limp on that left side. Got twisted up in the midst of that power right there. Aaron. Third down and 12 with 3.39 to play, and the clock is running. Looking to throw it. Has a man open. Mm. Tried to make the diving catch. Could not come up with it. it looks like the intended receiver was uh, Logan Marcel. That brings up fourth down. Karen Hayes at that corner spot, able to do the extra coverage over there. Gators will keep the offense on the field for the fourth down. Everybody in tight. Nobody split wide. Blanchett looking to throw, throws in deep. Has man open a little bit long. That was Marcel out there. Didn't quite come up with the catch. Tigers will take over on downs at their own 28-yard line. They'll play first and 10. Good job by the Tiger defense. Able to bend but not break. So, yeah, good job. And this is a, a drive that began uh, around the 45-yard line yeah. of the Gators. So, yeah, so... Um, 
They ran a bunch of plays, but they didn't gain a whole lot of yards. Tigers take over. First down. They've got three minutes and 24 seconds to play in the first half. So they'll see if they can try to get a little something-something going here. Yeah, Matt Kuka could spread the field now. If he gets some time to throw the ball and receive his catch, it would be good for the Tigers. Looks to his right, comes back to the left, catch is made. Trying to get outside and turn the corner. He ran a long ways, but <laughs> didn't get much out of the run. Each time the receivers from Morgan City catching the ball, they're going back against right into the defense. Catch the ball, get outside, right. get up the field. Yeah, just get what you can get because that wide running back into it has not worked for him. And this is about where he caught. In fact, he may have lost a yard exactly. on the run. So it's four-yard gain. It'll bring up second down and six. Just to reiterate, Aaron, when you when you receive a catch the ball, they tell you always turn up and get up the field. Mm -hmm. Two thirty-eight to play. Clock is running. Mancusa throws incomplete. I think that was uh, Torres, huh? Yes. Hit him right in the spot. Hit him right on the numbers, Aaron. Yeah. Didn't it come up with the reception? Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell from here, but it, the defender was very close to him. I don't know if he got a hand in there or not, but uh, however it worked out, it's incomplete, and it's third down and six from the 32-yard line. Clock is stopped with 2.32 to play in the half. Trip receivers to the right, a single receiver, I mean to the left, single receiver to the right, going deep, throwing it out there, and that's going to be picked off. He had double coverage on the intended receiver, who was Kyron Duga. And uh, the defender closest to the sideline is the one that makes the catch. Iran Martin at that corner spot, this ball was lofted up pretty high which gave the defender enough time to actually get the ball at the highest point there and turnover for the Tigers. A lot of times, Clarence, and you know more about this than I do, it looks like Mancusa just has to just turn and throw it. He, he can't really pass it. He's just, he doesn't have time to wait. He's got to just throw it out there. And, You're so correct, Aaron. But that, yep. that defensive rush by the, by the Gators is just putting, just not giving him that time to get his, right. his fullness into it. That's it. Okay, trip receivers to the left, single back, one to the right. Two minutes, 24 seconds to play before halftime. Handoff is going to go in the middle. Finds a little bit of room, not much. Uh, maybe a yard. Yep, give him a yard. So it'll bring up second down, and it gets the clock moving. Right now, the clock comes the Tigers' friend. It runs as we hit the two-minute mark. Gators again getting their signals from the sideline. Two receivers wide to each side, single back. Blanchard hands it off to the and back. Off number 26, Dupree. Dupree, and he finds a little bit of running Stop room as he takes it across the 45-yard line. Games three. Now third and third down and six as Dupree picks up three yards. Running play, so the clock continues to run. A minute 20 to play in the second quarter. Pass drawing screen has been a great help for the South Terrebonne Gators. See exactly what they do here. Third down and six. Play action mm. over the middle Pass is nearly and uh, yeah, almost picked off. I believe that was one, uh, Cameron Parfait that almost had a chance to catch that. Parfait. Got a couple of hands on it. Four but, down, uh, couldn't pull it down. Couldn't bring it down. But once again, That's bring up the four down points. once again. Tigers get another possession here if they In, can get the punt. The incompleted pass. We'll stop the clock with a minute and two seconds to play. Leonardo Torres. Torres goes deep for the Tigers. High snap, but pulled down, gets the punt off. 
He's going to shank it a little bit to the left side. Got a flag in the backfield. And that will probably be running into the kicker. So if that's a five yard penalty, it'll make it fourth and one. Yeah. And it's going to be uh, running into the kicker, I think. It's just going to be the five yard one. I was following the punt, so I didn't see it. <laughs> I don't know if he hit him hard or just knocked him down. No, he didn't, he didn't do that much yeah. damage to it. So so that'll be a five-yard penalty. And it'll make it fourth down and one from the Tiger 49-yard line. Gators are still talking about it. Hadn't sent the team back out on the field. They may be uh, thinking about going for this one. Yeah. Fourth so and six is one penalty. thing. Fourth and one is a Probably whole different the animal. Okay. They're going to go ahead and try to punt it. They sent the punt team out. Now the flag is still on the ground. Okay, wow. referee just realized Fourth that. So one. He's going to pick that up. Torres stands at his own 15-yard line. Oh, we had a snap to the up back. We had a fake punt, but we had a whistle. And this will probably be a procedure call that's going to go against the Gators. So now that backs them back up to back to the original fourth down and six. Well, you know when the coach got that called like that, yeah. you wanted to work, actually work and just mess oh, everything yeah. up. So. He had a good snap to the up back, and uh, <laughs> they were going to go for it. This one goes through to the punter. Low line drive punt. Hits the ground around the 25 and bounces out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. Yep, that stops the clock with 45 seconds to play before halftime. Gators lead the Tigers. By the score of 28 nothing. The big show. Class, uh, the Gators jumped out to the quick 21 nothing lead. Yeah. And since then, it's been a 7 nothing ball game. Yeah, and then Tigers' defense has been, been that mainstay for them. So, you know, go see if they can go to halftime, make some adjustments, and get yeah. some things, you know, to work for the Tigers on their behalf. Yeah, they got to figure out a way to move that ball a little bit, control that line of scrimmage better than they have so far tonight. Mancusi looking to throw the ball under pressure, and he's going to go down. And he'll get sacked back at the 10-yard yard, 10 line. And the clock is running with 33 seconds to play. And the 40-second clock has not started, so they might just let this run out. Just a little, little tip. Once again, if Mancuso just get the swing passes out to those backs and the receivers, as aggressively as the, ter the Gators are coming in, they can make some things happen. But once again, they're just busting that offensive line up right now. Yeah, I think they're going to just let this run out because they're, they're second down and, and 20 from the uh, – where they can actually spot that ball at the 14. And that will take us to the end of the first, the first half. half. So we'll go ahead and take a quick commercial break. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by – A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. Core physical therapy and sports performance, here to restore the quality of life you deserve on Brasher Avenue in Morgan City. Conrad Industries, serving St. Mary Parish and the Marine Industry since 1948. Conrad wishes all of our local teams good luck. Lapco Manufacturing, feel safe, work smart, look good with Lapco FR. www.lapco.com. Patterson State Bank, free checking, great rates, low down payment home loan options, and the best in mobile banking. PSB, quality community banking since 1925. GJCurbside.com, your complete online grocery store, including local and regional products. Check our website for delivery options. From our curb to yours, GJ Curbside. Henry Beau Lagrange, the next senator for District 21. Unmatched experience and proven leadership to represent all of District 21. Stazione, 
Get our Stazion app or order one of our mouth-watering po'boys online at staziondeli.com. Stazion, are you hungry yet? Bayou Bend Fitness Center, 1097 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin. A healthier you begins at Bayou Bend. Pool Dew Sports Bar, Morgan City's number one party spot and your steak night hookup every Wednesday. Danny's Fried Chicken, it'll make you smile. Serving Morgan City since 1968. MC Bank, sharing the hometown spirit since 1955. Pelican Companies of America, your one-stop spot for all your rental needs. 985-312-5509. Oshner Health of St. Mary, quality health care close to home. Extreme Daiquiris, where the drive through is always open and the drinks are always cold. Universe Street in Bayou Vista. Taco Bell in Morgan City and Bayou Vista. Open late night, delivery through DoorDash. And Allen's Communications, locally owned TV cable, internet, and telephone service. Call 384-8335. Okay, welcome back to South Terrebonne High School, where the South Terrebonne Gators currently lead the Morgan City High Tigers by the halftime score of 28 to nothing. Welcome back to this broadcast. My name's Aaron Ortigo here with Clarence Robinson and our head statistician, Mr. Bill McCarty. And the Gators will receive the second half kickoff. Speaking of the second half kickoff, the Gators getting the ball back. But overall, Aaron, we talked about this during halftime break, just talking amongst each other. Morgan City only has a total of four yards total offense. Three big turnovers, that opportunity on those two punts and right. another situation where the South, excuse, South, Terrebonne, South Terrebonne was able to capitalize. But overall, South Terrebonne hadn't been that effective as well, but only has a total of 91 yards total offense as well. So see if these guys get some things kicked off here in the second half, most importantly, the Morgan City Tigers. Yep. Tigers are teed up on the 40-yard line. Three receivers deep for the Gators. And a little bit of an unusual formation here to kick off. Low kick, kicked well inside the 10-yard line, brought straight up the right side, looking for some room. Finds a little bit, takes it across the 30. That's uh, Logan Marcel with the ball and uh, sets the Gators up with a decent field position at the ball will be spotted. Looks like uh, they're going to put it, well, they hadn't put it down yet. It's going to be somewhere around the 31, 32 yard line where they'll start the second half. One thing we say about that second quarter, Aaron, the Morgan City defense had a couple of times where South Terrebonne was coming in on the four down situations so we were able to capitalize. So that Tiger defense did their job. See if they can start here in the third quarter that same way. Okay, the ball is spotted at the 31-yard line. They'll start the second half. I think we might have a Wildcat formation coming up. Everybody looks to the sideline to get their play call. Do wide receiver split wide east side in the wild snap to number 22 and for the crazy turn in the corner, getting out to about the 38 bounds. yard line. By number That's 22. a Jare Ricks. That's Ricks, pushed a out of freshman. bounds by Parfait on the wildcat. Now it's a we talk about the old line. school pulling guard and tackle. That's able to give positive yards right there. The guard and tackle pulling here to the near side. And Ricks picks up eight second yards. And, two. and that'll bring up second down and two. Ball is spotted at the Gator 39 yard line. Wide receiver split wide to the left. Single back. Flanker on the left side. Handoff goes off right tackle. Picks up the Hand first off down. To Brody Dupre up the and middle. that was Dupre with it's the ball. Picks up the first down. The 44, first down, Gators. Keep things moving. 
It's a five-yard game. Put the ball at the Gator 44. They'll play a first and ten. Gators moving the sticks, first and ten at their own 44. Two receivers go wide to the left, one wide to the right. Flanker on the left side, single back on the right side of Blanchard. Hands the ball off. 22 up the middle, met in the backfield by a whole pack of Tigers. So not much there on the right side, looking for some running room. Loss of one. Much. Loss of yard. Good job by the Tigers right there. Tackle He's coming out on the blitz right there. For the Tigers, Gage yeah. Begley. Blanchett calls for signals, then turns and gets a new signal from the bench. In the shotgun. Burning back on his right side, Rose, and he's going to flip it for the end around. He's getting tied up in the backfield, Good trying to get by away. The Tigers, right there. Tigers running back all the way back inside the 30 yard line. One, Let's see where they're going to stop his to forward the progress. They blew it dead at the 32. Luke Nini at that defensive end spot, 87, staying at home. Right there, number Lost one for the Gators. It's Marcel. Now third and 11 yard loss. We'll spot the ball at the 32 yard line. It'll bring up third down and a lot. More than 20. Opportunity here for the Tigers to get the ball back in pretty decent field position. And we're going to have a false start, I believe, on against the Gators. So it was third 22. This will back them up five. I'll make it third and Folks, get seven. Your half and half, take us out. The ball will be spotted at half, the eight eight the winning ticket 27 yard line. Worth $335. They got to get to the Tiger for 46 for the first down. $335. Quick pass over the middle. Passes Hit and knocked down at around the 33 yard back. line, maybe the 32. It'll bring up fourth, fourth down, down and about 21 team. yards. Number 34, Lincoln Dupree is the punt. Dupree coming to kick for the Gators. Price was able to get the reception, but Tiger defense did their job, Aaron. Gets the punt off. Low line drive, bounces straight up, takes a Tiger bounce. 18-yard punt because the ball will be spotted on the 50-yard line, right on the 50. So Marcus City will take the field. The offense will come on the field with excellent field position. They'll be playing first and 10 on the midfield strike. That's what you want to see your defense come out. Get three players in out. See if the Tigers can make some things happen here on the offense. Eight, nine, zero, zero, nine. Tiger break the huddle. Big Houston. You can pick up. Sets his troops up. Two receivers split wide to each side. Running an option to the left. Guys, he's going to keep it. Takes it to the 46-yard line for a four-yard game. Thank you so big. The option play right there. Want to keep a positive yard right there. Number nine, Mancuso. Gains four yards, second down, now the Gator 40. Four yard gain will bring up a second down and six from the 46 of the Gators. You're reminded from Terrible Fair Sheriff. And this, uh, Clarence, is the first time the Tigers have entered South Terrebonne territory. Again, you can use it to the other side. This time it doesn't work as, uh, Tackle is made in the backfield. This so will give Those back, get back the four 20. yards they gained on first down Number four, I'm and sorry. bring up a third and ten. Neville, Neville well, coming from that strong safety spot. He had to come up real quick. City. Take out Kojo. Yep. Third and ten from midfield. <laughs> the 
Their body in tight. Mancuso rolls right, to his right, looking pass, deep. Throws it over the middle and was almost picked off. off. Complete, almost picked off by number six. Oof. Looked like uh, Gators Trinage had a chance. Smith, that was uh, Trinaji Smith. Smith just followed his receivers inside right there. Ball was a little low, but uh, bring up a punt situation for the Tigers once again. Okay, no yards gained. The They'll bring up fourth and ten. As the Tigers will send their punt team out on the field. Gators, one person back deep. Punt is off. It's fielded at around the 12-yard line. Looking for the left. Not there, taking it back to the right side. And he's going to be dropped at around the 28-yard line of the Gators. 30-yard punt and an 8-yard return. Him at the 29 yard line. Once again, that Tiger defense wants on that first possession right there. First Got three and out. From their own 29, Need the opportunity right here for a turnover or something to hear Aaron. Yep. They need something to jump start them, get them going. Yeah, while we have a moment, I want to give a big shout out to first team all state running back. Mr. Puncho Harvey for the South Terrebonne Gators. He's here watching the ball game tonight, watching his Gators take on the Morgan City Tigers. Gators take the ball to the right side, running across the 35-yard line. He'll be spotted at the 36. Dupree has been a work cost for the Gators tonight. Seven-yard game bring up second and three. Synergy Bank, Pizza Express, American Marine, Golf Pro, Jimmy Burton AC and Heating, Abair Marine and Hardware, Gilbert Dardar with Everett Jones Investments. And Blanchett Marine fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, flips it out, had a man open, but under pressure, he had to unload it quickly and it's incomplete. Brings up third down. And It'll bring three. up third down in three. From their own Good pressure right there by that the uh, Tiger defense. Yeah, because that pressure is what kept that pass from because he no had doubt. a guy that was open. He just had to well, lay it out there in front of him. He had some room to run, but the uh, defensive player for the Tigers put Dardard a lot of pressure on him, made him throw it off balance a little, and it was incomplete. Brings up third down. He had a little bit of help, but it was mostly Gilbert Dardar. Looking for something on the right side. It's Dupree. And he gets his first down as he's thrown down out of bounds on the 45-yard line. Rick's fouling his blocking. Most importantly, getting the first down for the Gators once again. Had a nine-yard gain for the first down at the 45-yard line. First down was sponsored by Steve 6-10 to play, third quarter. Hand off, end around, looking for something on the right side. Not much there, flag comes in late. Sort that out. Yep. That was Logan Barth, I think it's going to be a holding call that's going to go against the Gators. By Good job by that Tiger defense stretching it out, Aaron, to the near side here. And three, Hepler. You know, down 28 nothing. these guys are still Holy fighting this for us, the Tigers. That's what you want to see with these guys. Okay, they're going to actually mark this off nine yards, I guess, Holding call must have taken place in front of the line of scrimmage. From the spot, now first and 19. So it'll be first down and 19 from their own 36-yard line. And Blanchett, as he's done all day, will make a, a call to, the, to his team and then turn to the sideline, get the rest of the play, and now another flag comes. And I think that Tigers, somebody's going to have more than 11 players. Yeah. He's waved it off. He, he thought he no did, but waved it off. 
So yeah. He didn't count. <laughs> I guess once he counted them, it turned out to be 11 after all, so uh, never mind. <laughs> Strong snap. Looking for something in the middle. Not much there. Maybe a couple. Gain a one. Yep. He'll give him a one yard Carter. gain. Excuse me. Bring up Need and Carter. I better come up for the Tigers once again. It'll actually be a second down, second down at 18. Four seconds on the play clock, ball snapping time. Looking for something in the middle, but not much there. Good Tiger defense. And off 26, that's Brody Dupre. Yard. Bray picked up another yard. Now third and 17. Be third down, 17. Let's see if the Tigers could stay away, Aaron. That screen situation in the first half was really beneficial for South Terrebonne. So. Yep. Yeah, when they were able to connect. The way the, way the Tigers have stopped, the, the couple times they did stop them was by the pressure on the quarterback, forcing a bad throw. Look in the pass. That's the screen once again. Yep. At the screen, good defense. That's what they Flag needed right there. Out. And there's a flag. That was pass with the Brody and it was Dupre. flag is dropped right where the tackle was made. I don't know if he caught a face mask. Possibility of high. Yeah. Once again, that screen play has just been their bread and butter. And it Should be against personal foul. Yep. It's going to be a face mask, personal foul. That's a shame because they made such a great stop. That would have been a fourth and 15, no give doubt. or take. Instead, they picked up 15 of the 17 that they needed. Personal fouls are not an automatic first down in high school, Louisiana high school. And now it brings up third down in two. Bringing Rick says one and direct snap to Ricks. Another flag comes out. Did not pick up the first down. The defense stretched it out. Let's see if that go against South Terrible. Chop blocks. Nope. Against the defense. Tiger. Really? What? First down. I don't, yeah, I Clarence, I don't know if I've ever seen that call I've on the defense. I've never seen that on the defensive side, but uh, we see it call tonight. So that would be a big first down for South Terrebonne. Hmm. Chop block on the defense. Hmm. Oh, yeah. First and 10 for the game. like you see it. Now it's a Tiger 33. So that's back-to-back 15-yard -back penalties. Wow. Wide open. open. Just cruising on in. As Dupree. As Dupree with an easy run. I don't know if he got touched. No way. He didn't. The left offensive guard and tackle pull here to the near side, Aaron. And yep. Dupree just uh, went straight behind those two guys and just walked in to the end zone. Yeah, once he got a couple yards past the line of scrimmage, there wasn't nobody out there. That was a nine-play drive, 71 yards. And the Gators go up 34 with a chance to make it 35. And it is good. So 35 nothing. Gators lead with 255 to play in the third quarter. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet, Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance, Lapco Manufacturing, Patterson State Bank, 
gjcurbside.com, Henry Beau Lagrange, Stazione, MC Bank, Pelican Companies of America, Taco Bell, and Allen's Communications. High kick, fielded at the 19. Looking for something on the far side. Gets out across the 25 yard line. That's Pushed Anthony Bourgeois with the ball. Storm Dupre at number four, Jerson Neville. Tigers will take over first down. Again, we've seen the first possession that Morgan City came out of third quarter. They tried to get the ball outside. Ran the option play with Mancuso a little bit, just trying to stretch that defense out. So, seen in the first half, they couldn't actually run between the tackles. So, ball is spotted at the 25 yard line. Wide receiver wide to the left. Hand off to Bourgeois. And a flag cuts thrown into the middle of the pile as Bourgeois gets knocked out of bounds. After about maybe a three yard gain. See where they're gonna spot that. That could be closer to four. Holding against the Tigers. Holding against the the tigers. So that'll wipe out the four yard gain. And see how far they're gonna move it back. They're gonna move it back to the 15 yard line. 10 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. 10 yard penalty will now, make it. 20. First and 20 from, Morgan City from their own 15-yard line. Left in the third quarter. Well, that's been Achilles' heel as well for Morgan City. Penalties and, but, uh, and turnovers. Van Cusa looking to throw. Has a man open. Makes the catch at the 15-yard line. But wrestled to the ground at that spot. So they'll mark it at the 16, give them a one yard gain, they'll bring up second down and 19. You know, it's sometimes frustrating so much when your offense can't get get on pattern. And, uh, you know, nothing's not working for the Tigers tonight, so. He calls for the ball, looking to throw, nothing there, pulls it down, and he's going to get sacked for about a two-yard loss, three-yard loss. Big rush by the Gators. Minute and a half to play in the third quarter. Tigers will be looking at a third down and 22 from their own 13-yard line. They need the 35-yard line for a first down. See if that offensive line could get Mancuso some time. Well, you know the pass rush is going to be coming. Well, no doubt. So he's got to find somebody to get the ball to quickly. Hopefully on the outside with some room to run. The left game pulling against the Tigers as well. Another flag. That'll back him up five more. So third and 22 is now third and 25. The ball spotted at the seven. I say 25. Third and 27. So Morgan City's gonna call a timeout with 54 seconds in the third quarter. So with a timeout on the field, we'll take a quick timeout ourselves. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet, core physical therapy and sports performance, Lapco Manufacturing, Patterson State Bank, GJCurbside.com, Henry Beau Lagrange, Stazione, MC Bank, Pelican Companies of America, Taco Bell, and Allen's Communications. Okay, both teams are back out on the field with 54 seconds to play. To play in the third quarter, that is. Third down and 27. 
Mancusa going back deep. Back Has a man out there, but overthrows it. He's looking for Duga. Aaron Duga. So can you see it? Aaron Mancusa does have the arm. Just the timing and the timing with the receivers. Covered by number seven. Man has a nice arm, but coverage yeah. right there by the Gators. Yeah, he threw that ball probably in the air more than 50 yards, very close to it. You know, from where he let it go to where it hit the ground. Yep. Fourth down. Tigers will punt for the seventh time tonight. Back at the 40 for the Gators is number two. Bounces it to the punter. He gets it off. Hits the ground. Let's see. Oh, they're going to call it a safety. safety. He might have wish they had his, he yeah, he had his knee on the ground when he fielded the ball. ball. Yes. And it is a so safety. it's a safety. It'll be two points for the Gators. Two points. They'll make it 37 to nothing. And the Tigers will have to kick it to the Gators. You know, that special teams for the Tigers has been totally disastrous tonight. Another scoring opportunity for the Gators. And it seems like their biggest issues are coming when they're in the punters in exactly. the end zone. You know, <laughs> Each the, time. The two blocked punts were in the end zone, recovered in the end zone for touchdowns. And then, and this is uh, this safety. Yeah. He uh, you know, bounced the ball to the snap, bounced to it. When he went down to catch it, and that happens a lot. That's exactly in, in, right. You know, when you see a guy go down to catch it, he wants to make sure he catches the ball. His knee comes on the ground, and guess what? You're down. Now they got to kick the ball back to South Terrible. Right. And this time they're kicking from their own 20. 44 seconds to play in the third quarter. Gators on top. 30 the seconds. Tigers have to kick off from the 20 yard line back deep for the Gators. 22, it looks like. Gators have picked up nine more points here in the third quarter. And they will get one more possession with uh, about 40 seconds left. See if Gomez just can try to kick as deep as far as he possibly can. Back these Gators up, back that offense up. The defense been doing the best job they could. And on that last possession, Gators was able to score. Gets the kick off. Good kick. High to field it at the 28 yard line. Good Marcel with the ball. Has plenty of room to run. Running straight up the middle. And he's going to score. And that is Logan Marcel with a kickoff return. And that was 71 yard kick return for Logan Marcel. Showing his speed. That was number one, Logan Marcel. Been seeing Marcel all night. But this time he was able to get it right in stride. Good blocking up front for him as well. Quick six right there for the Gators. And that puts him up 43 nothing with the extra point to follow. Once again, another special teams touchdown for the Gators. Gators are missing one man, an offensive lineman. Hustles out onto the field. Play clock is running. It's at 15 seconds. Snaps down, kicks up, and as he's done all night tonight, easily making the kick. Gutierrez extends the lead to 44 to nothing with 28 seconds to play. The Gators have scored uh, with 9 and 7, 16 points here in the third quarter to take the lead from 28 0 to 44 0. One thing it is, you know, you, you, you've seen the defense try to do what they had to do, but those little mistakes, those penalties came in, and uh, they capitalized on each opportunity that has presented itself, Aaron. Yeah. This is homecoming for South Terrebonne as well. Yep. 
Yep, they had a big presentation before the game started. Of course, the Queen was named at halftime. Most importantly, this is a district game for, for both teams. Right. That's 7 4 8 district. Each team comes in tonight with a one district victory. Both teams beat Ellen earlier in the year. This will be fielded at the 21 yard line. This is Kojo with the ball, turning the corner out across the 35 yard line, forced out of bounds somewhere around the 37 yard line. And that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. And we will take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet for physical therapy and sports performance. Lapco Manufacturing, Patterson State Bank, GJCurbside.com, Henry Beau Lagrange, Stazione, MC Bank, Pelican Companies of America, Taco Bell, and Allen's Communications. Okay, back to South Terrebonne High School with the South Terrebonne Gators or leading Marcus City High Tigers by the score of 44 to nothing. We're ready to start the fourth quarter as the Tigers will take over at their own 36 yard line with a first and 10. So Mancusi takes his team to the line. Two receivers split wide each to the side. This is a pitch to Kojo. He drops the ball, picks it up on the first bounce. And it goes out of bounds right around the line of scrimmage. Now it'll give him a one yard gain to the 37. Could have been a disastrous situation right there, but Kojo able to capitalize right there. Well, he got a good bounce. That's the, yeah. the <laughs> turf dropped bounce. it in front of him, and it bounced. He had a nice flat turf feel, beautiful feel that the Gators have here. And uh, he catches it on the bounce and managed to pick up a yard. Snap, handoff, hand off end around, the did Pretty not five. work as he gets tackled yeah. at around the 30 yard line. Let's see where they'll spot his forward top progress, which looks like it'll be on the 30. So it's a seven yard loss. Nuja went backwards on that, so those ne them negative yards still going on Morgan City offense right there. Third down and 16 from their 30. Snap, looking to throw, catch is not made. Pitch, the throw is a little bit low, unable to come up with the catch. That was Kojo, the intended receiver. And that'll force a fourth down. And the Tiger punt team come out on the field. Got to get the snap, got to get the catch. Go match, that is. Last possession right there was able to touch the knee down, get the safety in the end zone. Good snap, gets the put off, low line drive kick, hits at the 37 and then bounces, uh, gets a Gator bounce and goes out of bounds around the 39 yard line where the Gators will take over first and 10. Okay, first and 10 at their own 39 is where the Gators will take over. Once again, these guys have you know, done what they're supposed to do. South Terrebonne was able to get, capitalize on every aspect of offense and defense and uh, now the special team. So, so if these guys from Marcus City just can keep this thing steady and try to make something happen, get a turnover. Tigers on the field as the Gators now trot out. Blanchard sets up his offense as he sends uh, Wide receivers wide to both sides of the field. Offensive lineman forgot he was supposed to be out there. Hustles out. Looked like there might have been a motion in the backfield, but uh, 
no flag. And also number 25. He stepped backwards, so. Yeah. yeah. Stopped by number 12. Like they replaced the whole offensive line for uh, South Terrebonne. Yep, getting the backups in the ball game. This is where the backups love these kind of ball games. Yeah, this is an opportunity. Yep, their opportunity to play. Second down. Blanche is still the quarterback. Look like his skill positions are all out there. Oh, yeah. Eight seconds on the play clock. Snap is up. Good. Hand off goes in the middle. Not much there. Maybe two. It'll bring up third down. Third and two. Aaron, each time Bro is taking the ball, he takes a step back before he actually get the handoff. And the referee is not calling it, but. Yeah. It. it um, I know he can. he's eligible to go in motion. <laughs> but still, it. The way he jumps up like that, it uh, I don't think that's the way the rule was intended, but in either case. It is what it is. Yep, third down. Clock moving, 7.20 to play. Hand off on the end of the round. Gets a rope, gets his first down. Gets dragged down by the jersey. Yeah, and that's uh, Dettillier with his Hewitt first carry of the night. Dettillier in the slot coming here to the near that's side. Right. Pick up a first down first for the Gators. Gators. First and 10 at the 45. Off, off left tackle, takes the ball inside the 45, but not much more than that. And this time, the ball carrier is Maddox Bro. So we're getting some new guys out there. Although Blanchard, the quarterback, Breeze Blanchard, is still in the ball game. Carter for Morgan City, but come before the tackle number 12 from that linebacker spot. Second down and nine. From the 44. Yep, halfway through the fourth quarter as we go under the six minute mark. Oh, this is off Blanche's hands, high snap. He was able to recover it, but a big loss. This will drop him back to the Morgan City Terrace side of the field. It's a 48-yard line. Bring up third down and 17. You know, all things happen like that when you got those, those substitutions in there. So. Yeah. But the thing is, these the substitutions are gaining you know, that valuable right. experience so Getting that, that this won't happen to them maybe next player. year. So you got to get under the lights. Yep. Blanchard going deep, has a man open, wow. makes the catch. The two, yeah. And he's running down inside the 10-yard <laughs> well, line, and a late flag two comes in. And this will either be a face mask or possibly a horse collar. Tell you what, the in that slot showing a lot of speed. You see that first position had Aaron and right there. He just ran the streak right up the seam. He came up the reception as well. And then... Got Looked like I thought he was throwing it to the deeper guy because no. he was open further back. And then Dettelier, who's not very tall, comes out of nowhere and makes the catch. <laughs> yeah. And I go, okay, well, that'll work too. Well, yeah. you get your opportunity to shine. Yeah. Dettelier able to get that get on the stat book. Yeah, Dettelier comes in at five foot five. Right. 135 pounds. Personal foul face mask against the Tigers. First down, Gators. Yep. Penalty will take the half the distance. Once again, another penalty on the Tigers again. They've had a bunch of those things. Yeah. Big penalties. Big penalties. 15 the yards foul. have been the, the yeah, fact. At, at very Tigers. inopportune times, right. too. They're going to mark this back down to the one-yard line, two-yard line. 
It's right there. All right, now first and goal for the Gators at the two-yard line. Two-yard line, it'll be spotted. First and goal. A little bit of confusion. People moving around and back and forth. And Okay, everybody in tight for the Gators. Blanchard in the shotgun as he's been all night. High snap again. See where they're going to spot this out. Looked like he didn't get in, but. That was no game. Bro. 25. Carly Chauvin. Miss Emma Dupre. Carly plays on. Second and goal. See if the Tigers can hold up right there. Don't just let them walk in. Our freshman. Kate Adams, Bella Arsenault, Zaley Boudreaux, Trista Domain. Okay, handoff. I think we might have some motion. Handoff here. number 14. Yeah. Flag on the play. Score. Freshman, he Chelsea scored. That was uh, Noah Dettier. Five foot, 535 pounds. Freshman. Our freshman, Kennedy Pellegrin. He scored, but that's going to be wiped out by the penalty. Sophomore and junior, Gatorette, 23-24. Timing is everything. Yeah, you know exactly what happened with that. New set of guys in trying to get in. Second and goal. We're going to hit the two-minute mark here. Two minutes left in the ball game. Second down and goal. From the seven. This is our 23-24 South Terrebonne cheerleader. I see them out there, but they marked the seniors off for of this one. And the Gators are going to let the play clock run down. They're trying to eat as much clock as they can. Clock is moving at 125 in the game. And then, uh, yeah, they ran the clock down, and took as much time as they could, and then uh, called time. So the time out on the field, we'll go ahead and take one more quick break. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching Friday Night Under the Lights, brought to you by... A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance Lapco Manufacturing Patterson State Bank GJCurbside.com Henry Beau Lagrange Stazione MC Bank Pelican Companies of America Taco Bell and Allen's Communications Okay, both teams back oh, on the field. Okay. The clock is stopped with a minute and 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Gators up 44 nice nothing and threatening to put some more. And they're just going to take it's a knee, knee. start the clock, and let the clock run. And they'll probably take one more knee, Clarence, and then uh, call it a night. That's the way it looks like things formation. are going to happen. 55 seconds left. Count them off for the fourth quarter. Okay, down to 50. Clock is running. Got 25 seconds on the play clock. Okay, 20 and play clock. 42 on the game clock. And one more knee, and that will do it for the ball game as the uh, game clock is down to 20 seconds, and it is running. Both teams are walking off the field. The and, uh, in fact, they're actually lining up on the 50-yard line to <laughs> shake hands as the clock is still running. I want to take this time also to recognize our player of the game. And athletic director Archie Adams. And number 26 and for members of our family, we want to thank you for South Terrebonne. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess we have to give it to him. And that's uh, Brody Dupree. 
who had 12 carries for 105 yards, three touchdowns, two receptions for an additional 42 yards. So congratulations to Brody Dupree, 5'9", 185-pound sophomore. He's our player of the game. Tell you what, Brody did an outstanding job tonight and, you know, made sure some things happened, sure things, and uh, started early. And then on the other side, the, the second half, the total different game on the special teams for South Terrible, we were able to capitalize. Well, Clance, I don't know about you, but I expected a closer yeah. ball game tonight. You know, I thought these two teams, uh, both of them came in with similar records. Uh, each team had only won one district game to going into tonight. They both had beaten Ellender. So I uh, thought we was going to see a, a battle here tonight, but uh, – South Terrebonne had other plans. Out of uh, other plans, and statistically with this, Aaron, totally, Morgan City only had one first down in the game. South Terrebonne had 11. Total rushing yards, Morgan City minus 13. South Terrebonne 101 yards rushing, passing six yards for Morgan City, 95. Total 196 yards. Total offense for Morgan City minus seven. Yeah, not a lot of offense. A lot of points yeah. for, for South Terrebonne, but neither team, I mean, the uh, – Gators had 44 points with less than 200 yards of offense. So. You know, and most importantly, we know about those that, that those two punts, well, two three punt situations right. that they was able to capitalize on. So that's 21 points right right there in Morgan City wasn't Plus able to safety. capitalize. Exactly right. So, so. 23 uh, came with no offense. So so, but anyway, uh, good game here tonight uh, for the Gators. Anyway, they're gonna like it. It's homecoming and. Uh, they moving on. Oh, yeah, I wanted to remind everybody, too. I mean, I'm here tonight sitting in for uh, Boo Grizzaffi. Also, wanna, uh, we're not sure where we're going to be next week. We have a few options. Check with us on Facebook. We'll keep you posted up there. But So, for tonight, from South Terrebonne in Berg, where Gators have defeated the Tigers, and this will do it for tonight. My name's Aaron Ortigo here with Clarence Robinson and Bill McCarty. Y'all have a great weekend. Friday Night Under the Lights has been brought to you by A.J. Dolman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. Core Physical Therapy and Sports Performance, here to restore the quality of life you deserve on Brasher Avenue in Morgan City. Conrad Industries, serving St. Mary Parish and the Marine Industry since 1948. Conrad wishes all of our local teams good luck. Lapco Manufacturing, feel safe, work smart, look good with Lapco FR. www.lapco.com Patterson State Bank, free checking, great rates, low down payment home loan options, and the best in mobile banking. PSB, quality community banking since 1925. GJCurbside.com, your complete online grocery store, including local and regional products. Check our website for delivery options. From our curb to yours, GJ Curbside. Henry Bo Lagrange, the next senator for District 21. Unmatched experience and proven leadership to represent all of District 21. Stazione. Get our Stazione app or order one of our mouthwatering po' boys online at staziondeli.com. Stazione, are you hungry yet? Bayou Bend Fitness Center, 1097 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin. A healthier you begins at Bayou Bend. Pool Dew Sports Bar, Morgan City's number one party spot and your steak night hookup every Wednesday. Danny's Fried Chicken, it'll make you smile. Serving Morgan City since 1968. MC Bank, sharing the hometown spirit since 1955. Pelican Companies of America, your one-stop spot for all your rental needs. 985-312-312. 5509. Oshner Health of St. Mary. Quality health care close to home. Extreme Daiquiris, where the drive through is always open and the drinks are always cold. Universe Street in Bayou Vista. Taco Bell in Morgan City in Bayou Vista. Open late night. Delivery through DoorDash. And Allen's Communications. Locally owned TV cable, internet, and telephone service. Call 384 8335.